All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We're still here in Florida, and this time we're looking at their golf carts, motorcycles, side-by-sides, all their little toys. So definitely other stuff got flooded besides cars and trucks and RVs and campers and whatnot. It's gonna be a lot of, you know, golf carts. And who doesn't want a nice flooded golf cart? Golf or a nice cart. golf cart. Oh yeah, motorcycles, more golf carts. As far as the eye can see. So let's go ahead and uh, walk through some of these, you know. We're gonna pretty much look at, I mean, if there's a lot of corrosion, there's no point of, you know, definitely checking them out. But we're gonna do like fast glances, maybe find some that I like. Like that one, I'm not even gonna look at. What do you mean? I mean, that's that, cool. That looks so ugly. That's like uh, the four passenger one or the type No, this the, little blue one. Oh, this little blue like, one. Like, we're just gonna be like, not for me, you know, not for me. I mean, that's a this style. one. That's, look at these rims, I mean, you got suede. But look at this one, dude. It's got a little teddy bear. That's pretty cool. Minis. Our mom, Minis. grandma's gonna love this, you know. She. Oh yeah, for all the grandkids. Think about it, I got a bull front, bar so she can like hit stuff and front windshield, mirror. Look at this. Look how much. Wow. No dash. Wow. Oh yeah, that's extra. But they're checking out the flood and. But look, it's got batteries. And it doesn't look bad at all. Surprisingly. E oh, look, a little bit of corrosion right there. Dang. Yeah. Power yeah. steering. Wow. Electric power steering. It's a lot of seats. That's good. Let's, I mean, two, four, six for a golf car. Six. I mean, some cars don't have six seats. That's crazy. Look, a cooler in the back. Wow. Wow. Storage Look at that for days. That's pretty cool. And honestly, I don't care if this thing has a destruction title. You know, yeah, we don't need to register. That doesn't this matter. Thing. In South Carolina, we don't need titles for golf carts. So yeah, you just you just give them a VIN number and you're good to go. Yep. Get insurance. Still get insurance for it. And you're fine. It ain't working. Oh, see, they took it all apart though. Yeah, maybe to see the flood or they just, maybe they had some cool speakers in here or something and they, they got some cut wires there. Heated, heated dash maybe? Uh, Steer, her heated glass? Glass, yeah, so it looks like it. Let's go ahead and keep looking for a, a good one. So here's kind of what we don't want. So we're looking at it, you can see how there's a lot of corrosion on the batteries. Start to bubble up probably and everything. And the batteries are looking fine, but like that, that means it got flooded. The gauge is still full of water. Right. So this one, because golf carts can get wet. I mean, you're out yeah. there, it's raining, you know, it's kind of a not that much. thing, but not submerged. Oh, this is a gas powered one. Wow. Which is good and bad. It's I, nice to have gas, but at the same time, not allowed in most parks to have gas. Yeah, I don't need a gas one. I'm looking for electric. What about that one? It's like an off-road Honda golf cart. Is that even a golf cart? Probably not. It's a side by side. Side by side. It's got a little breather. This thing's made to go underwater, right? Maybe. Whoa, oh, whoa, Michael. Check out this one. Oh, yeah. Look at Cadillac this Cadillac of the golf carts. It Legit. needs a new paint job, though. What if we, you know, get it yellow? Everybody loves a yellow golf cart. I mean, it's already white, Ivan. You know, let it go. It's got tan seats, leather. Wow, look at that steering wheel. Wow, look at that dash. Center console. Very clean. Check the batteries out, Ivan. See if we could. No keys? No keys. Stuck. Wow. wow. Where would the key go anyway? Right there? Okay, yeah. Vroom. Um, That would be nice, but. Right, let's keep going. I'm sure like a lot of golf cart shops would take these and refurbish them. Whatever Look at that, batteries. it's got even like a... Overall, the design is there. It's cool. Pretty sweet. Dang, this will be fun. All right, so here we have what is probably the worst ideal situation. It probably got flooded and it caught on fire. And these have like the big lithium batteries. Dang. And it definitely melted away. Oh yeah, you can smell that fire, that charcoal. A lot of experience yeah, with those. This, these kind of golf carts are nice. They got the lithium battery, they're heck powerful. Our oh, buddy yeah. has one, it's, it's, it beats mine. Yeah, pretty quick. But it's pretty quick. Adrian B. Holmes over there. Slavic, yeah. He is a four-seater. All right, Ivan, this one actually sold already. How so, much did it go for? So I want you to guess, this is a... I, I mean, it's got a whole front end, it's got suspension, wheels, at least 500. <laughs> Keep going. This is a 2022, Ivan. I mean, there's no battery, so it's not like it's worth keep, whatever. A thousand dollars. Keep going. Two thousand dollars. A little more. Twenty five hundred. Twenty eight hundred, and it's still pending. So they probably they, want they more. can have it. Dang. Twenty eight hundred. I mean, it's burnt. It's 
but I guess they're still worth money. Golf carts are expensive, guys, no joke. Let's keep going to those golf carts. Oh yeah. So we got all the side-by-sides, golf carts. This really one's, unique. This one's looking pretty good. Nice, it's a the corrosion. evolution. Look at the battery box. What is that? That's like the smart battery box, lithium. That looks good. Wow. So that one little battery? Yeah. Clicking? I think so. That's nice, because it looks kind of, you know, like it took a hit. Water damage and stuff. But. It's missing, oh, here's a seat. Probably a little correct. You sure? It doesn't really look right. It looks right. Let's see if it starts, it's got power on it. Let's see if it goes back and forth. It's got a little futuristic knob. Yeah, that's pretty cool. What? That's awesome. It's got flashers. Man, this one's high good beam, to go. Yeah, high beams, lights are working. Got sound system. Let's see if the radio works. I don't know how the radio works. It's got speakers. It's got speakers though. It's pretty cool for a golf cart. Maybe Bluetooth. Uh, I'm not sure. Battery still had 50%. Is it? Yeah, because see a little mark in the middle. Oh, green, the green yeah. yeah. High Very gear, cool. low gear. Wow, this, is, this thing's probably fast. It's got that cool lithium battery, so why not? Let's check out the VIN. So this thing is a feature, sale, all-state insurance. It is a run and drive. <laughs> kind of funny for a golf cart to be run and drive, but hey, whatever. It's a big deal. It's estimated value $8,000, so. And it comes with a free bottle of water. Oh yeah. Which you don't want, you know. An electric vehicle, but it's pretty cool. Well, everything is working, so I think this is a good find. Let's keep going. Find another gem. So this thing was good. Everything looks good on it. Yeah, this driving water level is definitely high. Battery. So this water level is definitely high, and you can see all the corrosion already. So all the things gonna get seized up. I mean, everything's gonna be squeaky and just garbage. So if it stays in salt water long enough, it is definitely done for. This one too. Wow, it's a big old battery box. I mean, think about it. Well, you can see the corrosion already coming out of the battery yeah, box. Yeah, yeah. So, no thank you. Pass on that one. These are too small. Look at this Hummer, Michael. I mean, these aren't bad. Dang, guys. You got your classics wow. and you got your decked out toy cars. But it's probably all corroded. You can still see sand in it. Let's give you a look at this one. They parked them really close. Club car. This is nice. I mean, so some of these go for like twenty thousand dollars, right? Twenty, thirty thousand dollars. Look at this one has a baby battery. Dang. Wow, guys, a lot of these already been looked at, taken apart. I mean, this motor is literally out. You got the wire charger. But wow, it's just so crazy how many different styles, shapes, and sizes these golf carts come with. You know, that's it's pretty insane. Rows upon rows. I love all the different unique tastes people have, though. This one's speaker has been taken apart, probably salvaged whatever good parts they can. Golf carts are definitely fun. If you ever go camping or something like that, it's definitely nice to have, or even at your land, just getting around. One day, it'd be fun to get a little golf cart. Hopefully something a little better condition than this. It was rough, but whatever. Kids see to point A to point B. Or you go in style with the doors, commuting. But this one is rough, flooded out with some leftover sand. Wow, that's crazy. Moto electric vehicles. So these are basically cars. I and mean, you got turning signals, brakes. You could probably go on the road with some of these. Maybe around the coast and stuff, go around the beach. I mean, some of these go pretty fast. Oh yeah. Blue, orange, silver, white, black, gold. Everything lifted, rough wheels, off-road wheels, street tires. 
wow guys but most of these are just you can tell right away that they look pretty bad some of them gotta look closer but this one look doesn't look too bad uh, not bad it's running drive tops missing but that's not a big deal let's see if it still has power yep yep it sure does what 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 got a little display system going on for miles per hour this thing's nice a little bent rail but not a big deal i've actually done a golf cart before bought it and recustomized it so that's not a problem turning signals on but it should be a running drive so let's see if i i mean that's crazy having a screen ivan huh? having a screen like that that's awesome forward reverse nice wow guys check it out backup camera and everything you can tell or not that's pretty sweet so this one's pretty cool i'm gonna write it down definitely a nice one oh yeah look at them red color matching paint job forward back got a little antenna for your radio also got a screen on here led lights everywhere oh yeah pretty cool this one actually has a top speakers yeah that's sweet run and drive drove it looks pretty good got another one i don't know how custom it is but it's probably a company that does all these so that's the new style battery right evolution yeah this one's fried no start no start yeah you got water in the headlights i mean this thing went swimming pretty accurate too with the water line check it out i've been right there i mean it's still there yep the water line is still there both sides too the blinker fluid's full yep you don't have to refill that for a while look at this one water lines right to the seat so if you were sitting in it ooh, look at that it's even the newer battery dang wow it's got a computer for it this looks like a tesla motor i mean whatever the hybrid motors yeah not so I'm good i'm sure it was fast hp look more blinker fluid i guess it's a common issue water comes in and just don't want to come out and surprise it hasn't evaporated well, look at this thing i think we should get one for the shop you know oh, we yeah. can uh go get parts don't get wet There's a couple of these gems out there oh wow Doors. looks like it's like a fish tank inside yep yeah the other one's just like it all these went swimming it's probably got a lot or something man that's crazy how many golf carts there are and there's just one yard there's actually four copart sub lots well there's the main yard and there's three other sub lots all within an hour and we've been to most of them so we're getting the feel for all of them yeah a lot of these just we're walking right by because you could just tell crazy crazy water damage You could tell online they'll say run and drive, but to find a good one, I still have to go test it out. <laughs> Pure sail, non run and drive, corrosion going on. Surprisingly, still hot out here, guys. Florida is warm. Got some new kicks. Forward, reverse, no power, no bueno. There's definitely some clean looking golf carts though. Not, not that one. This one right here. Check it out guys. Wow. Lifted like crazy. Looks like an aluminum frame on there. Got the nice stitching for the cloth seats, but it's got that comfortable stuff. Rhino. You want to me? Man, pretty sweet. Unfortunately, there is no key, so I can't see if it's running or not man check that thing out five-year warranty maintenance free just like a case that's how they're doing it now huh plug it in and don't worry about the inside but you can tell the sand 
and the corrosion that this thing had water inside it's been nice to press a button and see how much power you have but it's probably bad so i'm not gonna touch it that's unfortunate even how nice it looks Whew, i'm getting close to the end here with the golf carts a lot of unique looking like aliens here that green one pretty cool maybe like european or something I don't know too much about golf carts, but I mean, just looking at them, good and bad. This one's got a cooler in the middle. What? Some nice features, a plus and minus for the pedals so you don't get that confused. Yeah, pretty sweet. Garia, Garia. Four wheel drive, two plus two. Interesting looking golf cart for sure. The rear still looks like a front. It's got headlights, or I guess those are taillights. Maybe just go backwards. But like I said, some of these are very expensive. Even wrecked, they're going for a lot. So high water line, that don't matter. They'll still bring a lot of money. I guess you have the skeleton of it, the structure. So is this even a golf cart? I mean, that's crazy. This thing is definitely pretty cool. And look, it comes with a jump box. Matches the color of your limited edition Rebel 4 AMG. So this is a Mercedes <laughs> golf cart slash car slash side by side. I mean, it's pretty sweet. A lot of fun toys out there. What? This thing's manual. You got a clutch pedal, handbrake and everything. What in the world? So is this even classified as a golf cart anymore? Wow. Lower control arms, independent suspension. It's pretty sweet. A little wench in the front. This thing's got it all, guys. Pretty cool. Run and drive. Went ahead and popped the hood on here. I guess this is where your fuel tank is, a little radiator. I guess it's electric though, or with the fuel tank, yeah. So <laughs> maybe that's electric power steering right there. That's what I'm seeing, yeah. So the motor is probably in the back. Cute little mirrors. There it is, wow. It's a decent sized little motor right there. Alternator and everything. Pretty sweet, Whew, wow. A graveyard for golf carts are some good finds so if you're interested in golf carts check out copart.com plenty plenty of golf carts from your exotic ones to your common ones all sorts of stuff going on so that's the end of the line for the golf carts let's go ahead and start looking at our other toys motorcycles you got cruisers you got sports bikes, a little side-by-side -side lifted, pretty cool. But uh, yeah, also water damage looks like, but these things are made to handle some water, right? People take them off-roading all the time. But water gets in the engine, no bueno. Check out that extension shock lift, wow. Pretty sweet. It's a good one, KRX. We've done some motorcycle rebuilds before, but it was mainly just, you know, lay down, plastic swaps, nothing too crazy, your basic stuff. So I don't even know about water lines and how they handle. I mean, how does a flooded Harley Davidson react? Do you just take the spark plugs out, try to turn it over, clean it up? I don't even know. Some clean looking bikes for sure. Maybe it's the same process, make sure it's a running drive. Check it out and you're good to go. But just like the golf carts, there's all different shapes and sizes for motorcycles as well. And they just go on and on and on. From Ducatis to Harleys. The water doesn't care. Salt water will corrode anything and eat it up. Dang. Pretty crazy, guys. 
Stuff probably gets wrecked, laid down, dropped due to the water damage as well, but 99% of this stuff is water damage. Left outside and washed away. But there's probably some good ones here. It's getting kind of cold already in South Carolina, but in Florida it's always bike season, you know? You could always ride a bike out here. I mean, it's December and it's 80 degrees and I'm hot. Little back seats with speaker edition, just kind of hanging out there. I don't, I don't even know, guys. It's hard because I was like, usually it catches your eye. We are in the flipping business. I just don't really flip a lot of bikes. Like I said, we've done a couple, but nothing too crazy. So I don't even know what stands out. It's like, hey, this is a good one. Check it out. Invest your time into it. It's just kind of fun to walk around and see all the inventory. From your dirt bikes to your sports bikes to your Harleys. Custom ch choppers. Big old tire in the rear. So sad though, watered out, water damage. Definitely be a fun do it yourself repair garage build. Take one of these, clean it up and get it going again, drive around and sell it. Opportunity for everybody to make money. Dang. But some of these have been flooded pretty bad. I mean, check out this Harley Davidson right here. Water still in the headlight. Dang. And I'm sure it'll do the same thing to all the electronics if they're not sealed. Probably just start corroding. These two are really similar, except this one's seen a little bit more water. Like water line like that much if it's standing up, or how does that even work? Because I'm sure the storm water probably tossed these things around. Dang. Kawasaki, pretty sweet looking bike for sure. Got some damage. I mean, makes sense. You get swept away in the water. You're going down. All right, guys, I'm getting burnt out. Look at all these bikes. Ivan's out there. He's determined to find a good one. We found some good golf carts. Look at that blinker fluid. Oh yeah, I've been seeing that everywhere, Ivan, for sure. That one's got all three blinker fluid. Wow. But I want to find a good one, Ivan. We're going to find a good, look, at, this would look good on me. I think we're, like, we're going to do like a brother's road trip. Seen a couple of those. Oh. Wow, that, that is pretty sick looking, not going to lie. There's got a radio. I mean, you got side compartments, leg Cruise warmers, control. Cruise control. I think. What the heck? I don't know what, this what? Is. what in the world? Definitely a nice Harley. It was a nice Harley. Yeah, you can see the speakers are getting all. Yeah, right there. See, cruise control, I think. Wow. I don't know. Ooh, what about this one, Michael? I mean, some of these have navigation on there and everything. This old school BMW? It's an old BMW. Whee! Looks like it should be in a museum. Not a Copar yard. Copar yard museum. Ooh, ooh, what about this one? You can see me riding this one, right? It's pretty cool. Now there's like another one with like really big handlebars. Water line's pretty high, Ivan. Look at that, it's stuck. Yeah, makes yeah. sense. Ooh, it just goes on and on, guys. This is crazy. I don't even know what to look for anymore. But most of these probably do have destruction titles, so it'd be hard to get it registered on the road. If you wanted just to off-road use, that's cool. There's something in the back, but... Man, check out these handlebars. This is a big old bike, Ivan. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of bulky. Not my style. We'll find a good one. Ooh. I mean, some of these still should be running dry, right? And I'm sure not everything is completely water damaged, flooded out. This one's looking pretty nice. No, it's got washer blinker fluid in there too, Ivan. No? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Can't wash that out. Some low riders. Check out that belt driven thing. Look at this dirt bike. Look, look at this thing, Evan. Wow, look at that tire. Look at that belt. Yeah, that belt's crazy. Why does it have two belts? I have no clue. Dual motor. It's, it's just sand your tire, you know? That's Whee! crazy. What is that for? I don't know. But look at this dirt bike. Dirt bike looks nice. Looks like look it's a big gas dropped. tank. I don't even yeah. know if it's a flooded one. Who needs a title for this? Just ride. <laughs> cool. Ooh, BMW 1000. 
That one's missing the front nose. Not a big deal. No. Nope. Custom nope. paint jobs. Nope. Flames. Yeah, I'm not even looking anymore. This it's exhausting. Kind of exhausting, yeah, guys. We've been looking at a lot of stuff and it's just overwhelming. You're like, man, I'm kind of happy. They're not my project, not my problem right now. Ooh, let's look at scooters. Scooters? There's scooters here? Yeah, we don't need paperwork yeah, guys, for scooters. Yeah, guys, crazy. Let's get a scooter, a little moped. Moving on to this, this section. One. Look at this one. Oh yeah, I mean, I can see you daily in that thing around. You'd probably get great gas mileage. I'd rather walk. Dang, you'd rather walk. I'd rather walk. I mean, there's all the stuff in the movies, people. Yeah. Steal them from each other, push each other off. Dang. Yeah, I'd rather walk. Whoa, look at this one. Okay, never mind. Look at this Some guy. Some cool scooters out there, man. Look at this guy. It's a Honda. This go one. Go get your mail or something. Na, 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 na. Dude, you can go like 35 on this thing. Honda. Wee, 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 wee. Yep, it's broken. People doing wheelies. You got some e-bikes. Is this even e -bike? considered a vehicle like that? That's crazy. This is literally a bicycle. Unless that had insurance on it. Yeah, one of the e-bikes had insurance, I guess. That's that's pretty crazy to see an e-bike here, but whatever. Is this even a scooter? I mean, really? This is a big scooter. A big boy scooter. Yep. I could see me driving this. You hear the horn? Yeah. yeah. It's about as power. Wow, guys. Pretty yeah, crazy. Yeah, one up, look. Yeah, yeah. Lance. <laughs> Water down. should look this one up. Yeah. Now, wow, three wheelers over there and that side. All right, guys, so this was the section for golf carts, mopeds, and motorcycles. Some pretty cool golf carts we found. Honestly, those are nice because you put the key in and they're moving. Very light water damage, but for the, go the mopeds and the motorcycles, I don't know if we're gonna mess with water damage ones. Like I said, we did one before, the plastics were messed up, but this is a different kind of ball game and it could really get bad. You only got two wheels, so if those go bad, I don't, you know, I don't know if I want to mess with that, but unfortunately that's all the time for this episode. Stay tuned guys, we'll check out some more exotics, we'll check out some more common trucks with some nice little daily vehicles too. So they're still out here. There's so many cars. It's pretty crazy how much inventory there is. Like we said, over 400,000 vehicles were flooded out due to this hurricane. So pretty insane, but hit the like button, make sure you subscribe, leave some comments down below. Catch you next time.